In the last video, we added an element for the first time, and when we clicked on this button, we got this paragraph right here. In this video, we're going to add another element. What we want to do is add a heading for our new section here because this is in fact a new battle. So we want to add a heading and we want the heading to appear before our paragraph. So let's flip to our code and here's the code of course we created from the last video. Now remember I told you that JavaScript will add the element after the last element it finds within that div. So obviously we need to create our heading code before we create the paragraph element because we want the heading to come first of course. So since we're adding some more code here let's actually create some comments. So we'll say this creates a paragraph. Good. And then we'll just copy and paste this and we'll create an area here for our heading that we're about to create. And we'll say this creates a heading. Good. And of course we can use the same code like I said that we created in the last video. So let's go ahead and just copy and paste this and let's use a different variable name. We'll call this element H for heading and we'll put an H2 here and so this will create our H2 heading above our paragraph. We can go ahead and use this again and of course this will hold our div. Now since we're creating this up here we no longer need this code down here because we can attach as many different elements to this main object once we've created it. We don't need to create this again because that just adds extra overhead. So let's go ahead and get rid of this line now. Good. So now that we have our H2 heading element created, we of course need to append the child to the div. And we can just go ahead and copy and paste this. And of course now we're going to be attaching a new object and of course that is element H. And then of course we need to create our text node for our heading. And we're going to call that the Battle of Salamis much shorter than what we had in the last video in terms of text. And actually, let's add some quotes here. Well, okay, let's just uh, move this. There we go. And then you will remember, once we've created the text node, we actually have to attach the text node. And we need to attach that, of course, to the heading node that we created up here. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. And of course, this will be element H. And you know what? We're going to give this text another variable name too. So let's call that text h and text h. Good. And you know what? We need a t here for the. That wouldn't work too well. Okay. So let's save everything up and let's go run our web page in Chrome and let's see if this works. And if we hit our button now, there you can see. Now we have a complete section, the Battle of Salamis. So now we have a full section. So let's close this out. Now you might be wondering if we can add an element, we should be able to remove an element. And that's what we're going to do in the next video. See you guys then.